Hello, my name is Ryan Cottle and I'm a senior at Grove High School. Ryan keeps himself involved with school projects and enjoys helping younger grades as much as he can. A squared plus B squared equals C squared to find the diagonal of the computer. Ryan is uh, very in tune with the people around him and he's very um, intelligent young man. He's self-sufficient, very independent young man, independent thinker too as well. Definitely is a leader and when he needs something done or if somebody else needs something done they can rely on Ryan to do that. He is a student council president and has been involved in the Safe Schools program. Volunteers in safe schools talk to the younger children about the dangers of drugs, tobacco, alcohol, and other issues to help keep them safe. He also tutors at the middle school. Grove High School is partnering with the local law enforcement and we have a program called SAFE and what that stands for is seatbelts are for everyone and this was an initiative that the Grove High School Student Council took on last year. We were actually the first school in the state of Oklahoma to take this. Right here, this is diagonal one. You have a squared plus b squared. And you square those out and you got 240.4. Really enjoyable student to have in class. He's involved in the discussions and you know contributes to the class greatly. Any, any kind of task that you give him or if there's a group that you're putting together to do this, he's right in the middle of it. So there's, that is definitely for sure. He's always real upbeat, he's always positive. Um, he likes getting involved in things, trying to improve things. Grandfather was actually Cherokee and I believe he is one fourth um, and he can fluently speak uh, Cherokee. And um, it was always growing up, he had you know different artifacts and pottery and always history that he would tell us and I love the stories that he would tell because he learned um, old Cherokee fables from whenever he was growing up from his parents and so it was definitely an experience getting to hear a lot of the stories that he has to tell. You know, my mom would talk about it going, growing up and she always, before we went to school, she made my brother and I, we were big time readers um, and she was always you know, pushing us to read books and whatnot. And, um, a lot of the books that she would give us at times were uh, Cherokee history books. Ryan also helped with the snack program at his church to help kids get nutritious snacks over the weekends. He loves tennis and roller skating, that is, whenever he has time to enjoy them. I'm a big science-minded person. I absolutely love science, and, and I think today the STEM field, which is the science, technology, mathematics, and all that, um, is becoming bigger and bigger and more important. And so I really think whenever they cut the funding that went to the Cherokee Nation Science Fair and went to that, I, you know, it kind of hurt me personally because I participated in that fair three times and um, it was very good to me. And I got to meet and network with other kids in the tribe and so just becoming more science and technology and mathematic like teaching that because that's going to be the new the next modern thing that's going to be important i feel that there is some support from other elsewhere in the nation so a petition or some type of proposal i think would be possible in the future he credits his teachers and family for helping him learn about his heritage i received my cherokee heritage um, from my grandpa then my mother um, and so that is where I received that portion from and I think um, other than those two figures in my life my dad who is not Cherokee um, it's been an experience for him to learn about the history and learn about the culture and stuff like that that he would have not learned otherwise um, and that's always been you know growing up and going through school um, I would definitely say uh, Miss Johnny and Thompson uh, because she's always been a part of my life going all the way through school. I've always known her um, just in school. So definitely the teachers at the school that have been, you know, always part of the Cherokee heritage like uh, Miss Hampton as well. It's such a big part of history. I love history so much. That's one of my biggest things other than science and math is just understanding, you know, how we learn and develop over time and like um, learning about different cultures and whatnot, and it really didn't hit home with me like what it means to be a Cherokee until last summer when I traveled to Germany. I was staying with a friend over there, and um, when I was meeting with his family, and Arthur had told them that I was Cherokee, and they 
I mean, it was just like I was um, a pop star almost, and they were like, you know, tell us more, tell us everything you can about it in the history. And so I went back to thinking like all the stuff that I'd learned in uh, my childhood through history and fables and facts about the nation and, you know, our history as a nation um, and what we've been through and really getting to share that with people gave me um, kind of a sense of what it is to be Cherokee. Actual like tribals like um, powwows and traditional dances and that type of stuff, I haven't been around that a whole lot other than um, with the ACES community. Mm -hmm. um, and that, they have a strong basis in the traditional values. And so when I go to the national conventions, there is a lot of traditional dances and music and um, it's kind of made me understand more of the importance of that over the years. Even though I don't look very um, Native American, it's just such an opportunity to network with people and see um, their background and you know how they're doing and what they're doing for the nations. Ryan has been involved with science research and the STEM program, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, all the way through high school. He plans to go to college and concentrate on the STEM field and bring his knowledge back to work for the Cherokee Nation. I want to um, be in the science and engineering field, the STEM field. Um, I'm wanting to double major in chemical engineering and business management, and I hope to, in the future, bring back um, renewable energy and um, my business skills that I have acquired through college to the nation. Mm -hmm. And that is my biggest, that's my passion in life, is renewable energy and a cleaner future for our kids tomorrow.